Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Villains Podcast. My name is Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. Bob. Huh? <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to introduce me. I have already introduced you like twice. It's time for you to introduce yourself, man. Oh, okay. Well, I'm Bearded Gaming Entertainment. Uh, and Bob. <laughs> and Bob. And Bob. Bob the Bearded Gaming Entertainer. That's right. And we are two of the future villains, and we are playing Destiny. Actually, we're just goofing off on the farm. Where are you? I'm at the farm. Where on the farm? That's a secret. Oh. I feel like I should be able to see you. Ah, I see you. No, you don't. I do. So, no. we were just talking about something that everyone loves, Keenan and Kel. Oh. <laughs> That's one of my favorite shows. I am super ever. curious though. Have you watched it recently? What do you mean recently? Does it like still hold up? Oh, it does to me. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know about anybody else, but I still rather enjoy it. I kind of want to go back and watch it. Like, some stuff just doesn't hold up well, especially no, comedy wise. Some, yeah, some stuff doesn't. I wonder if Keenan and Kel and all that does. I'm willing to bet it does. For me, Keenan and Kel holds up more than all that. Okay. But that's because I'm just more of a Keenan and Kel fan in general, I guess you could say. Keenan Thompson seems to get just funnier and funnier every year he's alive. Oh, yeah. I'm and not really Kel, sure what Kel's Kel doing. Kel just seems to disappear more and more every year that he's alive. Yeah. If he's, if he's still alive. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure he is. What is he doing? Uh, being Kel? Yeah, seeming, yeah, but seemingly nothing entertaining-wise. I don't think, yeah, I don't think he does anything, like, crazy. I know he's made a couple appearances on Saturday Night Live with Keenan. Really? Uh, yeah, like, they did, like, a Good Burger skit. It was pretty funny. What? Yeah. I gotta look that up. Good Burger is one of my favorite. That movie does hold up. Oh, yeah, I made I my watched, sister watch it. My I watched that, uh, go ahead. 17 now right that sounds right and uh she came over one night to spend the night and she'd never seen good burger and i was like well we're gonna change that and she loved it <laughs> yeah that's a great movie that's on netflix right now i think is it it was for sure you know what else is on netflix right now what's that stranger things two oh or season cool. two I, I, haven't, that. I, haven't, I haven't watched it. We watched the beginning of the first season. Yeah. Did did not pull us in. Uh, what? So you haven't seen it? No, I I've seen it. I've seen the first few episodes, and then I was at uh, Brian Bryman's house, the uh -huh. the guy I do the the Few True Heels podcast with, and uh, we watched the last few because that's one of those shows that they watch over and over. Mm hmm. And I just, I don't know. It doesn't seem all that interesting. Oh, man, I loved it. I sat down and watched it in like a day. Yeah, it just didn't pull me in. But I also like, I some of the shows I really, really get into are shows that a lot of people don't. I wouldn't say a lot of people because, oh, shit, I fell through. Yeah, you know, like Lost. I, do, I did and really did enjoy Lost. Like, I, I know, know I that it. <laughs> it fell apart, but that show was still really cool. I never I never watched a episode it's of Lost. Really, really cool. Maybe I really I was like just, that show. Maybe I was just lost on the entertainment. No, it's true. That show doesn't make you make you lost. It's the reason why it's called that. It really is. Um Yeah, I but I yeah, I like shows like Ballers. You know, like with the rocket and watched, HBO I show. How is it? Oh my god, I love that show. You know why I, I haven't watched it? Why? Because it's on after either after Game of Thrones or after Outlander, and uh, yeah, those are the only two shows I really care about. Oh, okay. Have you I mean, watched either of those? I've we started watching Game of Thrones, and I did, we couldn't get into that either. It's a hard one to get into, but once you're into it. Right. Say goodbye, to, say goodbye to your life. I kind of don't have 
time to get into it anymore. <laughs> uh, I know what you mean. Which is a big reason why we also... That's why... Like, I just... We haven't started a series. We fell behind on The Flash. We fell behind on Arrow and Gotham. And now it's like, there's no time with all the thing, other things I want to do to catch up on shows. Yeah, I know. So it's like, I just got to kind of choose what kind of media I consume. Right now, I'm choosing Destiny 2. Because <laughs> I yeah, love it. I know what you mean. Yeah, I've been doing a lot more gaming than I have TV, for sure. Yeah, I definitely don't watch a whole lot of TV. The only show I'm, like, really interested in right now is Outlander. I have no idea what you're even talking about. So, Outlander, without trying to ruin too much, um, basically this lady gets teleported back in time. She lives in, like, like post-World War II. Okay. Like, right after um and she's on her honeymoon second honeymoon in scotland and she finds these stones like like stonehenge type of deal and she like touches one it gets sent back in time to like scotland in the 1700s i want to say so complete time gap Right. And, you know, she ends up meeting this guy and she gets like kidnapped, but not really by the Scottish. And then they force her to marry this guy. And that's real awkward because, you know, arranged marriage. <clears throat> and, uh, hashtag arranged up, marriage. <laughs> they end up like falling in love and just the, like, the adventures and the crazy shit that goes on in that show is insane. Okay. That it's sounds a, interesting. It's a, very, it's a very good show. It's and on what, get, HBO? Uh, Stars? Okay. One of, it's on one of them big TV networks hmm. that you have to pay for. Yeah, I really like Ballers because, like, you ever watch Entourage? Yeah. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. <laughs> like, I own most of the seasons on DVD, and I don't own anything <laughs> on DVD. I do. I just enjoy the banter and the characters and the situations they get in and... I like oh, yeah. stuff set in real life sometimes more than I like fantasy. Because I it love... Depends. It just depends. It depends on the, the content of the show. T usually for me, it's the characters. I have to care about the characters. Right. Like, Stranger Things, I, I can... I don't know what it is about, like, kid actors. I just don't care. See, I, ca I cared about the characters in Stranger Things. I, I cared about the sheriff. <laughs> The guy from How I Met Your Mother. Just the sheriff? Yeah. Because <laughs> he's great. He's I like him guy. as an actor. What was his name in there? Hopper? Hooper? Yes. Yeah. Scooper? <laughs> Scooper. We'll go with Scooper. Pooper, Pooper Scooper? Yeah. I think, I think Pooper Scooper was his name. Okay. That's what I thought. Hashtag no, I canonically, that's his name. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hashtag Pooper Scooper. Yeah. Uh... So yeah, that's why I like Ballers because like The Rock, obviously he's an incredible character. Who doesn't like like the whole? Yeah. Let's just get this out of the way. If you don't like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, what's wrong with listening. you? Just stop listening. Right yeah, now, he's great. We don't want you here. That's why uh, Jumanji is gonna work because they've got th four incredible actors they, that well, everyone no, loves. They've, they've got they've got The Rock and then three other actors. Oh. I love Jack Black. Oh, that's right. Okay. And so Kevin Hart. Rock, Jack. I don't like Kevin Hart. Really? We'll get I into that in a minute. Like, and I Karen do not Gillian. Like Kevin Hart. I don't know who that is. Uh, she's from Doctor Who, and she's also Nebula in the more Marvel movies. The Nebula? blue one. Yeah, the blue chick. Thanos' daughter. From uh, oh, Guardians okay. of the Galaxy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, she's great. Like she's. And more and more stuff. She's a really, really good actress. And, uh... <laughs> and Marvel's one of those things, like, I enjoy that because that's kind of set in reality. Uh, in a way, yeah. Yeah. The other show I really enjoy is Suits. 
You ever watched that? I've never watched that either. I've, oh. see, I've always, I remember when that show came out. But that show that. is a roller coaster of emotions. Like, it is <laughs> so good. All, every single character you love or you hate, even the minor characters, is just so well done. Yeah. And probably the show for me that represents that more than anything is The Newsroom. That is, other than Entourage, that's probably my favorite show of all time. Really? Um, yeah, that has uh, Jeff Daniels, who you would know as being... Oh, man, I hope his name is Jeff Tom Daniels. Dumber, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, I love him, man. He is so... I like him. You should <laughs> really watch the new... Do you have Amazon Prime? Yeah. It's on Amazon Prime. It is literally a better universe than we're living in. It's the better timeline. <laughs> we are in the darker is that, timeline. Is that the show where he like goes on that rant about how yes. America used to be the greatest country? Yes. Okay, that's how I've the show starts. Show, but I have seen that, and that's probably one of my favorite clips that I've ever seen from anything ever. That is the show. Because that... Is, like I said, we're in the darker timeline. That is the right. better timeline because that is a news organization that gives no fucks news? as far as, <laughs> you know, lobbying and... Who, well, actually, it does care a lot about who is paying for their advertising and stuff, but that's a central part of one of the storylines is he right. goes after the Koch brothers, which are oh, okay. real people who yeah. fuck with way too much stuff. And it is all about, like, he goes after them, and they c- come down on his boss. And he, she's like, you have to stop. And it's all this crazy shit that happens to him from them messing with him. And it's about just, you know, what the news would have to go through in real life if they gave a shit. <laughs> and it's so good. It's so well written. And it's, you know, it's all talking, which I know pe- some people hate. But it's yeah, but the if, best if, dialogue. If you, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Entertained. <laughs> yeah, it, it keeps you. Keeps you interested. Um, keeps you pulled in. Pulled in is what yeah. I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, the newsroom is like, and like I kind of have like a rule. I don't go mm. and rewatch things uh-huh. because I I always want to be watching new things. And the newsroom and House. House is the other re- the other show oh, I watch a lot. Man, House is a good show. I don't know about it anymore because I haven't watched it in a long time, but it was back then. Thanks for stepping on my keyboard, cat. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, House is still it's fantastic. There's a new show that's similar to House, and oh my god, my cat is tight roping across my get out of here. Just walking through all my collectibles, like about to kick something over. <laughs> uh, that's a no, new show, and I can't think of what it is, but it's like a kid that's brilliant, and he's a surgeon. It looks really good. I've heard oh, it's really good. yeah. I need um, to watch that. Doogie Howser ripoff. I don't yeah. Know what that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> yeah, NPR actually. One, NPR wannabe. Pretty much. I was watching it at a friend's house. She was showing it to me and someone else that was, like, older. And we basically said Doogie Howser at the same time. And you're like, you know who Doogie Howser is? And I was like, yeah. I at least know what I, how I met your mother is. <laughs> 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 the main reason I know about uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I saw a thing for that show, and I was like, oh, that's the guy from, uh, what you call it, Bates Motel. Is it? Yeah. Oh, man, we started watching that show and just never went back to it. That's a good show. I watched all of all of it and except for the last season, I want to say. I Does it watch the last season. have an ending like that makes sense with the rest of the movies? The rest of what movies? The... Oh, my God. <laughs> I want to say Psycho. Oh, you're right. It's psycho. I know. Okay. I don't know. I hope so. That's one thing I was worried about that there was going to be like one season and then it just didn't make sense with like going building into psycho. 
Do Do you know that Norman Bates is not like a real person? Yeah. Okay. Why? Do you know who he's, do you know who he's based off of? Uh, not off the top of my head. Oh my. Who is he based <laughs> off of? Have you ever heard of a guy called Ed Gain? Yes, absolutely. Okay, that's who he's based off of. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That dude was off his fucking rocker. Oh, God. I don't know a whole lot about him. I definitely know that name, though. I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, this is for a, d- a darker podcast. This, yeah, this this is not a place for that. Speaking of serial killers, though, um, there is he a movie. a bowl of cereal. <laughs> yeah, I wish. No, I don't eat carbs anymore. Except for the McDonald's I had last night. Um, uh, oh my god, what is his name? The guy, he built a hotel in Chicago purely to kill people. Really? Um, I really wish I knew where my phone was. Did you... Okay, do you watch American Horror Story at all? We watched the first two seasons? No. <laughs> I'm moving the blank around looking for my phone. Um, we watched Asylum. Okay. Um, what's the second season? Asylum is the second. Oh, season. Murder House is the first season. Yeah. Then we watched Asylum. I think we got we dropped off at the Carnival one freak show. No, we dropped off at the Magic one. Because it oh, was that's just my favorite. That's my favorite one. Such a bizarre show. Yes, okay. So, um, the fifth season? The new one? No, we're on like season seven. Oh. Yeah. Um, the fifth season. Hotel. It's called Hotel. Okay. I have not seen a single episode of that. Okay, so at some point in the season, the owner of the hotel is a ghost. Oh, and yeah, that show's based on what I'm talking about. I mean, okay. loosely. Okay, so in the, in the show, he has a party once a year where he invites like all these famous serial killers. And of oh, course they're Jesus. all dead. Of course they're all dead. But I mean he's got like uh um wow. I'm totally drawing a blank. Uh Jeffrey Dahmer, the Zodiac killer. Like um, by name? Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> Um, who's the guy that dressed up like the clown? Help me out. Mm, not Bundy. In Wisconsin or whatever. Not um, Bundy. He was there too, though. I think. Wow, what was his name? I can't think of it. Tell us in the comments. Yeah, I, it's right there. Rachel would know. Found my phone. I can look it up. Yeah, what was his oh. name? It was something fucking corn... Cornbread fed name. What serial killer dressed up like a clown? Hi, how can I help you? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that really helped. I'm so glad she was here to decipher that for us. What will we do without her? Let's see. Serial killer clown. John Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy. That's his name. Sounds like a serial killer name. Oh, yeah. Was he ever? But yeah, it's just cool. Like they, um, he just invites everybody, and they all sit down and have dinner, and just you know, just a dinner party full of serial killers. Yeah, that. Oh my god, that sounds terrifying. He's, that makes me want to watch that though. The Hispanic guy, what was his name, Ramirez or something? I don't know. Something Ramiro or Ramirez or Romero or right. Lodges, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't remember his name. But yeah, it's just it was cool. It was cool to watch. So the guy I was talking about is H. H. Holmes. He H. bought H. H. a hotel in Chicago mm. and would hire contractors and fire them suddenly. He just he hired as many contractors as he could and had them do little bits and he had like rooms in his hotel with different ways of killing them. And really? this was all going on during the World's Fair. Really? Yeah, he confessed to 27. Only nine could be pos- plausibly confirmed. And several of the people whom he claimed to have murdered are still alive. Okay, that's, I'm just reading from Wiki. 
They are making a movie about this guy. Really? And it, yeah, and Hotel is loosely, obviously, but loosely based on him. I think I remember reading about something about that. Yeah, there's a, a book written about him, and that's what they're making into the movie. But that, oh my god, that is so terrible. I just recently saw, uh, like, a cross-section of his hotel, and it looks creepy and weird and... Oh, I bet. Oh my god, it's similar to, like, the Winchester house. Winchester You're, house. Yeah, which is a house, I can't remember where, but, uh, just some crazy people had built, the you know, Winchester family, the people who make the guns. It's a house oh, that they really? have built, and there's all kinds of rooms to nowhere, and or doors to nowhere, rather, and weird rooms. Like and for, supposedly it's haunted. Supposedly the rooms lead to different dimensions, and yeah, really? it's interesting. And they're making a movie off of that too. That can that's coming out very soon. Huh? I saw a trailer for that. Speaking of creepy houses and weird people, did you see they? Uh... They're letting Charles Manson out of prison. What? Yeah, did you hear that's about a that? statement that should never be said. Yeah, they're moving him to some house in Texas or something. Why? Uh, I don't know. Fucking crowded prisons. Do they need a new season of American Horror Story? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. That's just, that's just what I heard a couple months ago. I think. That's weird. Yeah, I mean he's not. He's not a free man. Don't sure misunderstand that, but yeah, he won't be in prison anymore. Or in a prison. I feel like he's somebody we shouldn't necessarily be like, Hey, right, you've done you've done good. You can, right? you I mean, can leave now. have plenty of people under, you know, some kind of mind control back then. What's a, what's different now? He you know, there's plots in like comic books where it's like we're gonna transfer the villain and that's when the villain that's gets when shit escapes. Happens. Yeah. We have plenty of comic books about that, real life police. <laughs> <laughs> if you want an example of why you should not move Charles Manson, look to those. Yeah. What the hell? Uh, hey, I'm oh, not boy. saying I agree with it. I'm just saying it's a thing that I read. So to get to get onto like a lighter topic. <laughs> yeah, serial please. killers Let's is change the topic. I also I see Morty running around on my screen. See. Morty running around? Yeah, there's a guy named Morty. He's level 17. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I was informed recently by uh-huh. people who will not be named. Okay. Uh, Jeremy. And uh, <laughs> you are not allowed to make Rick and Morty references anymore because the fandom is terrible. Yeah, you know what? He can suck a long one. <laughs> I like Rick and Morty, and if I want to reference the show, I'm going to. And like I, I, I say Jeremy just because the viewers may know him to you know juicy like J Kyle G. Um, juicy, <laughs> he chose that name. I just think it's funny. Anyways, um, like I made I made a a riggedy riggedy wrecked reference, and he was like, mm-hmm. "Oh, don't make that reference. The fans are so bad." Why? And it's like I, I get where you're coming from. The some of the fans are terrible. But, but why? Why are the fans so terrible? I don't. Ah, uh, it's just like. So I think the thing that started it was they hired some female writers for Rick and Morty, and like, you see, I can't even say the fans. I would say a group of dumb fucks that watch Rick and Morty went after the female writers, like you know, saying all kinds of nasty, misogynist things. And okay. and, so and that makes uh, everybody a bad fan. I, don't I guess. That. And the other thing I think was the Szechuan sauce thing with the people at the restaurants freaking out and like throwing temper tantrums and all that type of stuff. People are stupid. Yeah, totally. And it's like a super popular show and it's purposefully written uh, to cater to smart people but also to stupid people. Look, it's... They didn't write it to be the fucking Teletubbies, all right? They made an adult cartoon. They knew yeah. what they were doing. And, and me and Brian have talked this to death on future villains before. Uh, I don't like cartoons. And for the most part, I just don't care. And seriously, there's a guy running around named Swifty. <laughs> <laughs> they know. 
Well, that um, could be. That could. This is, never mind. I guess Swifty. If it was yeah, his name was Swifty. Swifty. Swifty is a streamer. Oh, okay. I think uh, that's what. It, anyways, that's not what we're talking about. Yeah, we've talked that to death, and like, <clears throat> there's a lot of shows like Adventure Time I can't get into. Regular show I can't get into. Yeah. I've recently started watching Gravity Falls. Um, now, that and Rick and Morty are tied together in, like, a spot. Uh, a couple spots. Is like, a couple three or four spots? spots, yeah. Like, the main villain from Gravity Falls shows up in the background, like, imaging images and stuff quite a few times. Hmm. And uh, when Rick is, I think it's when, he, when he's running from the Ricks. Uh, he goes, he opens up a bunch of portals, and through one of the portals, a notebook and a coffee yeah, mug yeah, come yeah, out, yeah. and that's yeah. directly from Gravity Falls. Yep. I watched, uh, well, I didn't watch, I listened to, yeah. uh, H3H3 H3 did a charity stream for Hurricane Harvey. Right. And, but, uh, they had Justin Roiland and... The other guy from Dan Gravity Harmon? Falls. Dan Harmon? Oh. No, from Gravity Falls. Alex something or whatever. Okay. Oh, I'll have to it's watch just, that. That sounds so interesting. Were, yeah, I hope you got time. <laughs> it was a long one. It was like five and a half I hours. Like, I like stuff like that, though. I do, too. And it was it was worth the time to, to sit and listen to it. Yeah, because they're like... I mean, Justin Roiland, I watched h 3 h 3 podcast with him, and he's hysterical. Well, in the in the charity stream, of course they were drinking. Justin Roiland got the bright idea to call. I don't know if you read about or heard about the uh, oh whole yes deal with Joel Austin. Osteen. Yeah, Austin. Yes, <laughs> if you're going by Justin Roiland's, <laughs> I have <laughs> seen that video because holy Where crap! He great calls him as Rick. Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Dude, if I was on the other end of that phone and I heard that... I I wouldn't even be mad. I don't know if I would be freaking out because it's Justin Roiland or I would be sentient, er, sentient, conscious enough to play along. Yeah, I don't know. I would want to play along. That would be super entertaining. I don't know, though. Also, not them not knowing was the most entertaining thing. <laughs> oh yeah, that it was that was so much fun. Go watch that, that if you haven't seen that. Holy crap! Oh, it was worth that whole stream is great. Yeah, I didn't realize it was from that stream because I don't think I watched that whole podcast with Justin because their oh, podcasts okay. are very long, and I yes. thought it was just on a part that I hadn't seen. See, I only I only really listen to podcasts on like to and from work. Yeah. Because sometimes you're just not in the mood for music. Right. Absolutely. Right. And that's what another thing I mostly watch now is podcasts and Let's Plays. I, don't, I have a hard time watching Let's Plays. Not I'm very I picky. Them. Like, Achievement Hunter is the main one I watch. See, I don't want to watch it because if I haven't played it, I don't right. want to know everything. You know what I mean? Well, that's, that's why I like watching, like, Minecraft. Like, them playing uh, yeah. uh, <clears throat> Sky Factory. Which is literally, like, you start off with, like, a 6x6 six six block in a tree. And it's, like, <laughs> shit loads of mods. Uh, that's, like, I keep I keep getting uh, Mario Odyssey videos coming up. The Let's Plays and Hoo-Ha. See, I wouldn't Hoo-Ha's. watch Let's Plays for that. I would watch, like, Achievement Me Hunter. Either, but it's... It's so tempting to click on them. Sure. Like, no. What I like with those games is Achievement Hunter will make one Let's Watch. Like, they did one Let's Watch for, like, no. They did they Actually, they did a few for Legend of Zelda. Because that actually did I really well for them, I think. But they'll probably oh, do, bet. like, a Let's Watch for Mario. And if yeah. it does really well, they'll do more. But, uh... Yeah, usually, they, like, they did one Let's Watch for Wolfenstein 2, which I'll probably watch, just to see what that's like. I heard it's supposed to be really good. Yeah, I'm sure. The first one's great. Um, I just got, uh, 
which we'll get to Destiny 2 in a second, but I just got um, Dying Light. On purpose? Yeah. Oh, he said this already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have a thing with zombie games. I just, man, I don't like them. And, and, and Call of Duty killed that for you, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, that zombies mode I didn't care for. I was like, this is... Neat I wouldn't concept. say I wouldn't say Call of Duty killed it for me. It killed Call of Duty for me. Oh sure, well, huh. but just the mindless zombie games that are out like, like to me, no one's ever gonna top like old school Resident Evil and Left 4 Dead. Oh, so you're not Left 4 Dead. It. Left 4 yeah, Dead too this. topped Left 4 Dead. Well, okay, I meant the Left 4 Dead series. You know what I mean. We need to play Left 4 Dead. I didn't know you liked that. Oh, I love Left 4 Dead. <laughs> I, th- I still own both of them. Uh, oh, in that case, you should get Vermintide. Warhammer yeah, I Vermintide? Have, I have Left 4 Dead. Because uh, Vermintide has a lot more uh, melee. It has loot like Destiny does. Um, it has like a leveling up and a loot system and stuff. Hmm. So it's like Left 4 Dead, but, you know, with some new stuff. It's just, I just think that people try to, oh, well, we're going to make a zombie game now. It's oh, just, yeah. It's just, like I've told you before, it's, at this point, it's so overdone. Yeah. I would say people, yeah, I was going to say, I would say people were doing that, but they're definitely still doing that. Yeah, like, there's no were. <laughs> yeah, I mean... It's definitely calmed down a little bit. Uh, though some games, you know, like PUBG has that zombie mode, and that is super funny and super awesome to watch. Eh, I'll probably we, never play it. Well, we probably won't ever get the opportunity to unless we get a big audience. That's true. Um, and then if we, when we get the big audience, we do need to play that. Is yeah, like, Have you seen it. anything from it, though? No. It's not really what it sounds like. It's just... As from what I can tell, it's one team uh, of humans with guns, and it's PUBG. You just run around and find stuff. But there are 96 other players who have only melee. Right, and they're the zombies. Yeah. (laughs) It just sounds insane. (laughs) That would be fun. That would totally be worth it. That might be worth it to play once. Yeah. Um, Other than that, like... Yeah, I just, I don't know, it's just such an outdone genre for me. That Definitely. I literally have zero interest. If I could have negative interest, I would. I like Dying Light looks neat because I I like Dead Island. That game's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, it's much better co-op. It was a shame you hate zombie games so much. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but Dying Light is basically like a crazy cool loot and weapon system. But it's also got some cool like parkour in the story is supposed to be really good. And oh yeah. I when I play single player games, I need the story to be good. Well yeah, because what the hell else are you doing? Yeah. Um do 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 what what, Windows? What are you complaining about? Uh so yeah, that's I hopefully Dying Light's good, because I got like the ultimate edition of that, and I got that instead of Doom. Because, like, I, every time I look at Doom, I'm like, yeah, it looks neat. I'll tell you what. I own Doom. Yeah, the new I've one? Played it, I've, yes, I've played it once. Oh, yeah? Now, to be fair, and we both know where this is going, I and I own it for Xbox. I can't aim. I can't do uh, it. Ah, right. So Doom being so fast-paced and shit. See, I can aim on Xbox just fine. I cannot do it. I, my <laughs> hands do not work like that. Now, when it comes to computer games, I'm totally fine. Yeah. Kinda. Kinda. <laughs> but I can't. If you're drunk I cannot or not. do it on an Xbox. Now the Switch has a nice aim, aiming system. Yeah. Because with the control, you can aim with the controller. Huh. Like at. Like the Wii and stuff was. Okay. But you can also, like, you can move the sticks and the controller and... I I didn't like that you could aim with the controllers on the Wii. I hated that. You don't have to do that. Yeah. 
Like, I use, like, a little bit of a combination of the two. Okay. Like, I'll get in the ballpark with the stick and then finish aiming with my hands. Huh. That sounds interesting. I still think you should buy one. Oh, I will. Just get rid of your Xbox and buy a Switch. No, that's not happening. I almost I almost traded mine in this weekend. I've got too much invested in Xbox now. I literally invested. <laughs> like, I've got too many <laughs> games and stuff. I almost I almost went and traded my Xbox in this weekend. Ooh, don't do that. Why? I don't play it. There's bound to be something, though. No. <laughs> Damn. I've seen one game that I'm interested in. What's that? The Destiny new Dragon 2? Ball Z oh. game. That, uh, that might be on PC. No, I think it is. Uh, I don't know. I thought it was. I could be wrong, if it though. Is, if it is, then I literally have zero use for the Xbox. Damn. I mean, the controllers are great. For what? <laughs> Xbox. Okay, then. No, that's what I mean. For what? What am I going to use them for? Oh, for fighting games on PC. I don't have a way to plug them in. You don't have Bluetooth? No. I'll get a little $5 Bluetooth dongle. Yeah, <laughs> I just then, combined adapter and dongle. A dongle. But then, <laughs> but then I would just use my Switch controller. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So I didn't yeah. realize it was Bluetooth, but that makes sense. I bought I bought the Switch. Well, how long ago was that? A couple been months. a while, yeah. This summer. We'll say I bought it this summer. It's now going on November. Right. Yeah. That's not I have right. not. I have not touched the Xbox since. Damn. At all. That that might be what happens if I get one. I just I... like we literally bought that Xbox to play Mortal Kombat. <laughs> okay. And we don't play Mortal Kombat. Yeah. If I got the Switch, I mean, I know Legend of Zelda would consume a lot of my time. Yeah, and then and Mario would consume the rest of it. Yeah, I was going to say, and that's not even counting Mario. Because that's not that even... Game. I'm it, also it, it, super excited about Mario Kart, because I love Mario Kart. Oh, it's great. It's fantastic. Um, Have you played that in the arcade? Mario Kart? Yeah. <clears throat> no, we don't have arcades around here. Every time me and Kim find that in the arcade, we end up playing. Oh, it I would is love to play it so much fun. It is arguably the best way to play Mario Kart. I want to get a go kart and just <laughs> drive it around dressed up as Mario. They have it's those in Japan, I think. Did you see they're opening up like Nintendo World in Japan? Yeah. Oh, I'm, you, I'm tempted to move. Are you going to make a trip? <laughs> yeah, per- permanently. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could probably live in Japan. I and think... then, oh, since since we're loosely on the topic of video games and Nintendo, um, so Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Yeah. Supposedly, the last Pokemon games for the 3DS. Uh, no, I don't know. They'll probably put the next ones. No, no the that next was, ones. That, that was from Nintendo. Oh, okay. That's weird because it just came out with the new Nintendo 3DS. Yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. They put out a new Pokemon game every On the sw- year. Oh, really? That doesn't seem. Yeah, I don't know about year. that. It's either it's either a remake or a new game every year. Huh. Okay. And I think they all. I think they've been alternating for the last couple years. I got silver and I barely touched it. Yeah, that's why I didn't buy it. I really wanted to, but I don't have time for that. There's oh. so much. There's so many games that I want to play that I already own that I don't play because I don't have time. Yeah, like Destiny 2. Like Destiny 2, like Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, um, Stardew Valley. <laughs> yeah, and that's just the thing. If I got a Switch, I know that... A- and, and the Stardew Valley is the other game I would play a lot. I want to play Golf Story. Have you looked at that? Yes, and I want to own it. I want to get that. Um, because that game looks pretty cool. I mean, you got Binding of Isaac. Yep. I could, I could waste hours on that game. 
Uh, there's just so many. Is Risk of Rain on that? I have if to it is, that. I haven't seen it. God, I love that game. Um, Doom is coming to the Switch. I wouldn't play that on Switch. Why not? I, I was okay. I'm saying that kind of out of my ass. I don't really know because it's like that's a handheld console to me, and I would never play Doom on a handheld. But also, Switch is not necessarily it's, handheld. It's not because you play it on the TV. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like I, like I said. Once I get a Switch. Then I'll be able to tell you whether or not I'll ever touch my Xbox again. Because I am an Xbox guy. Love my Xbox. Yeah, see, I just... I bought the Xbox to serve a purpose. Right. I mean, it would no, definitely still be my media don't, system. Don't get me wrong, I don't dislike the Xbox. Have you been on lately? No. Hey, you might dislike it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> why is that? I just I hate what they've done with the layout. Like the what they do? They just made it so like you know how you had your pins at the bottom. Yeah. Well, now it's like you can add stuff to your home. Like I added Far Cry Four, for example, to my home. Mm -hmm. So I have the main page, and then you go down, and it's like Far Cry, and it has all the, like the hub and everything, and <laughs> launch game, and then like you still have your pins. I think they're still at the bottom. There's only, like, three, and then it's, like, launch more pins. And you launch a whole new screen to get the rest of your pins. Oh, yeah, and that doesn't sound very good. No, it was, like, yeah, Xbox, we, it's not great the way you have things laid out, but don't make things worse. <laughs> like, <laughs> just go back to the old version. I left that in the feedback, too. I'm part of the insider thing. And I was like, oh, are you? I was like, yeah, you guys need to work on the, the dashboard, you know, make it better, but... This isn't better. This is not yeah, I haven't, what you should be doing. I have not paid any attention to the Xbox whatsoever. It's faster now, which is the only redeeming quality. So, there's that. It's it's fastly sitting on the shelf. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, I wasn't too happy with the new thing. And especially, like, if if the Switch gets, like, Netflix and... Hulu and all that. I don't think they are. I think Nintendo's pretty much said no. Because you have your phone. I, I keep hearing about it. I don't. I think they're not worried about it because like they they know people have their phones and stuff. So yeah, but why just... would you not want to capitalize on that? I don't know. Because Nintendo you know doesn't I mean? care. <laughs> Nintendo's like we're gonna do it, our yeah. own thing. We yeah, don't need it. The jumpy thing. Jumpy thing. Oh, yeah. I was trying to do that. I couldn't get it to work. Anyways. I think someone gave it to me. I don't know. Or no, oh, I was up. Do that. Uh, if you, you're up on one of the rooftops and jump down. Yeah, you no, I know. I just... Anyway, it's not important. <laughs> not if you're watching the video not... part of this podcast, you'll see I'm running around the farm and I got the jumpy, speedy thingy. Yeah. Anyways. Destiny 2, though. Because... You've played a bunch. Oh, you're level 12? we got to get you to yeah. 20. I haven't played a bunch. I've played some. I have probably put 40-some hours into this, I think. I wonder if you can. I was wondering the same thing. <laughs> I don't really see a way. Well, I think with the number fucking three, I'll tell you that. There is a way if you go into your emblems. Uh... So, like, I have Sl Slinger's Sight as one of my emblems, and it tells me I've eliminated 3,021 enemies while playing as Gunslinger, and, and 573 while playing as Night Stalker. Wow. And then there's just not one for Arc Strider. I don't know why. But, uh, there's also the Kill Tracker Ghost, which I didn't get for some reason. I gotta look into <laughs> that. I was supposed to get that with a pre-order. But yeah, I've... I've completed the campaign. I've done everything you would need to to get that. Oh, have you? So, yeah, I don't know why I haven't got it. I gotta look into it. I think other people have trouble getting it as well. But uh, I finished the campaign. Um, there's now like a mini campaign after it. That okay. uh, I'm probably... 
I think I'm going to wait until we get you to 20 and finish the campaign for her. Uh, the campaign is absolutely fantastic, by the way. I'm waiting to get to it. I have my uh, the thing to get my Voidwalker subclass, which I'm still not very happy that I didn't get to just start with that. <laughs> right. Maybe because that's how Destiny 1 was, and I really liked yeah. my Void Warlock, but... Dawnblade's pretty fun, so I don't have much to complain about there. Yeah, now I'm just doing all the quote-unquote grindy things to get better gear. I'm surprised you're not out of content yet. I mean, <laughs> the thing is, like... And, and I was just watching uh, the Co-Optional podcast with Total Biscuit, and he was talking about this. And, uh... You do run out of content, but at the same time... It's an MMO, and the whole point of an MMO is to grind and get better gear. I'm at that yeah. point. Right. Um, I don't mind because I love the gameplay of this game. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's, the, that's the entire, not the entire selling point, but a, definitely a big selling point. Like, you see this rifle I got on my back? Mm-hmm. That's the Darcy. Uh, hold on. The data analysis reconnaissance and cooperative intelligent device. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Um, Did they pick the shorter name? Yeah, right. It has uh, a special perk that aiming at an enemy t uh, views its health and other critical information. Um, when that's active, you have better target acquisition and deals more precision damage. Uh, so what it does is you aim down scope... And it, like, fills up your entire screen with, like, this... Well, actually, it's the, the sight on it. You, like, look into this basically a TV on the fucking sniper rifle. Jeez. And uh, when you put it over enemies, your cursor, they, like, glow orange. And I think it shows you where their crit spot is. Really? Yeah, like, it's That's... not the best exotic I've ever owned... But the thing about exotics in this game that I love so much is a lot of them change the way you use the weapons. Right. Um, I also have... This is just going to be Jacob showing off of exotics. <laughs> uh, so that shotgun there is a full auto. That's a legendary. Oh, okay. Uh, that's another legendary. That there... Oh, I see yours. <laughs> this thing I have here on my back now is Skyburner's Oath. And okay. I actually have the uh, ornament on it that changes the way it looks. Um, it's a scout rifle, and it's, it says it's a slug rifle. This weapon fires solar slugs that get stronger when aiming down sights. The really cool yeah. thing about it, though, is the trait called For the Empire. And it says yeah. this weapon is full auto, does extra damage to Cabal... And penetrates phalanx shields. Really? Yes. It goes oh, straight nice. through their shields. It looks like something I would use the jack a car up with. It really does. <laughs> 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 looks like a uh, bottle jack? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, I love that gun. I've got Cold Heart now, which I love. Oh, is it good? Um, so, we had to talk about this. I was, Michael and his friend were saying, oh, it's awful, it does, like, no damage. And literally, Don comes on, like, five minutes later, and he's like, did you get Cold Heart? It's great. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and, For those of you who don't know Don, that's impressive. Yeah, right? Um, like, so what it is, is, like, unlike any other gun in the game, it is literally like a cold laser, oh. and you put it on an enemy... And the longer it's on them, the more damage it does. Oh, okay. And then, like, it eventually... I, I can't tell. Like, I haven't been able to test it, but I don't know if you can hit them in their crit spot. It doesn't seem like it. But it builds up to crit damage. Oh, and the okay. thing is, you know, most guns in this game, you know, you take, like, a hand cannon, for example, and it's like, boom. Come back from recoil. Boom. Yeah. This gun is just damage, 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 damage. <laughs> So you, basically, you get better damage per second. Oh my god, yes, for sure. It is, you know, like a damage over time with full damage eventually. Right. It's nuts. I love it. 
Uh, I've yeah, got the Sunshot, which is, you know, the hand cannon yeah. uh, that explodes when you shoot things. Yeah. Um. Oh, and I've got... I could be talking out of my ass here, so just so people know. This, I'm pretty sure... Boop! That there, that is Ooh. the Raid uh, Pulse Rifle. That's pretty. Yeah, it is called the Vigilance Wing. And uh, it has a perk of... Just a second, I'm being interrupted. Yes, dear. Okay. It has a perk of... This weapon fires a five-round burst. When a nearby ally is killed, gain health regeneration and increase movement speed. Hmm, that sounds nice. Yeah. Um, it certainly looks nice. Improved weapon performance when its wielder is the last living member of a fire team. Huh. Yeah, so this thing's pretty rad. Uh, oh! So, remember in Destiny 1, my Celestial Nighthawk helmet that would let me fire my golden gun once for six times damage? Yes. I got it. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> I flipped the fuck out when I got it, too. I wish I was recording. Because I was just telling... Jeremy, I think. I was like, okay, you know, I'm at level 20 now. I'm getting exotics. If I could get Celestial Nighthawk, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Hour later, got it. So I was like, alright, I'm done. I'm done with Destiny. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I win. I've come here to do what I need to do. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm super curious what else is in the game, exotic-wise, that I know about. I know, I really want to get to level 20. God damn it. Uh, the other thing I've got that, oh, also uh, from the strikes, I just got this and I haven't played it yet. It's an auto rifle called Origin Story. Okay. And uh, kills with this weapon temporarily grant increased damage. Stacks three times. Really? That's going to be fun. Yeah. My favorite weapon that I didn't know about is on my hip here. It's the I Better it. Devils. And it's ju it's a hand cannon with explosive rounds. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that it's, sounds like a lot of fun. It's great. Um, <laughs> and the thing with Sunshot, I found out. I, I played a lot of Crucible the other night. Yeah. Sunshot, it seems like I can't get uh, precision kills with it. Really? I, it's almost like you're not firing bullets. It's almost like you're firing balls of AOE, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Better devils I can still get precision kills with. Um, hmm. On a just lesser note, the one... Let's see. Do I have it equipped? I do have it equipped now. Uh, this hand cannon is called Bad News. And it's just extremely powerful with high recoil. So oh, that's... Okay. That and Sunshot are, like, my, my crucible weapons. Uh, should we're, but, yeah, that's just that's just an incredible hand cannon. Um, the lore for that thing, by the way, is sit down. We need to talk. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, when we were playing a strike yesterday, I was like, guys, I got bad news. And they were like, what? And I was like, I got bad news. What? I was like, oh my God. no, sir, I just have a gun called Bad News. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because one of my favorite wrestlers, uh, Wade Barrett, that was like his gimmick for a long time. Is he would show oh, up really? and he'd be like, I've got some bad news. <laughs> <laughs> so when I got this, I was like, this is now my favorite hand cannon. <laughs> it's my Wade Barrett. Um... <laughs> And then I've also got my Lucky Pants, which I think you were here when I got those. Your Lucky Pants? Yeah, increases hand cannon ready speed and initial accuracy. I don't remember that. Oh, man, what are those? I have oh, something oh, else, oh. too. Ran down to the vault. Uh, Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves. It makes okay. my readying and reloading of uh, sidearms faster. And when I say faster, I don't mean like, oh, this is considerably better. I mean like instant reload. <laughs> it's really insane how fast it reloads things. 
It oh. looks like a freaking cartoon. <laughs> like, it's like, <laughs> not possible. Speaking of cartoons. Okay. Have you looked into Cuphead? Yeah, no, I'm never playing that. <laughs> Why not? Because I, uh, I'll have a heart attack. I'll have a stroke. I'll, <laughs> I will break everything in my general area. <laughs> That's one. That's one game I watched. Uh, Jesse Cox play that, and mm-hmm. I just I could never play that. It's just I don't have that in me anymore. <laughs> the only exception to that game, yeah, I'll play it with you for a video or something. Like whenever you come down here, or I come up there. Uh, I would like to play that with my brother, just because we used to play games like that as kids. Yeah. But again, that would be like, we're going to play this once, and I'm never going to fucking touch it again. Because <laughs> it just... It definitely I, looks, like a, that looks ugh, like a stressful game. It looks incredible, though. I oh, can't yeah. appreciate enough that that game exists. Yeah, I agree. I want to buy it, but I don't want to buy it. It's all hand-drawn, too. Is it? What kind of maniacs make something like that? Disney. Yeah, well, Disney didn't make it, though. Yeah, but they they would. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. Look at all the old cartoons. Yeah. Speaking of Disney, by the way, very loosely oh. related. Um, Have you heard of Sugar Pine 7? No. They are part of Rooster Teeth now, but it's... uh. Did you ever watch SourceFed? No. It's one of the hosts from that show. His name is Steven Suptic. And he was making quote-unquote alternative lifestyle vlogs. And it's... Well, I can't tell if it's scripted or not. (laughs) It's kind of great. It's it's definitely mostly scripted because they're all like exaggerated characters. But Mm -hmm. it's supposed to be... Uh, Okay, have you ever watched Curb Your Enthusiasm? No. It's, uh... Oh my god, I can't think of his name. The guy who made Seinfeld. And Seinfeld and all them. And it's just like, it's supposed to be a look into their lives, but it's obviously not. It's like Arrested Development. Okay. It's like that, but in little five minute videos. And it's just Steven and him trying, right now what I'm watching, it's him trying to build up his company of Sugar Pine 7 with all of his friends. And like, one friend is Kib. And he's, like, just his best friend, but he's this goofy guy that always wears, like, a headband thing around his head. And he's just Ooh. really dumb. But, like, the situations they all get in, like, they all go to a camping area. They stay in the cabin Sugar Pine 7, which is where they get their name from. And Kib's like, I'll be your guide. And they get out of the woods, and they're like, and we quickly realize Kib doesn't know anything about <laughs> 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 it. The show's real dumb. <clears throat> But it's also real funny. Hmm. And one of the guys that's in the show, one of the moments that made me laugh out loud was Steven shows up to Parker's house. And he's like, I didn't want Parker to come with us. I just wanted to show how much of a terrible human being he is. And it's <laughs> Steven pulling up to his house and Parker's outside. And Kendrick Lamar's Humble is playing. And Parker's just like twerking to it. <laughs> oh my god. It's just dumb shit like that. But that moment let me laugh out loud, and apparently at the end of season one, they kill Parker, because Parker is now part of Disney somehow. So it was like, well, you can't be on our show anymore, and they weren't going to do like a, all right, bye, Parker. Like, they killed him. Jesus. <laughs> Super, I'm glad I know that, because I'm really curious how it's going to happen. Because there's also <laughs> another quote-unquote character, but he's a real person, and he's really an editor for one of the guys on the show. This guy named Jeremy. And he's just weird. And, like, he talks about killing people. And they're all like, stop talking about killing people. And, uh, huh. they go to the beach. They go to Steven's, like, there's an area on the beach he likes to go to. Um, to, to kind of relax and just sit out there and read a book. That kind of thing. And uh, they're like, he's like, oh, it's this way. And Jeremy's like, oh, yeah, my special spot is this way. And Jeremy's got leather gloves and a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, okay. 
And they, they, you know, he goes with them, and they're at the beach, and, like, Jeremy's behind a rock digging a hole, and they're like, what is, what is he doing? And then, like, they see a little kid run away, and they're like, where'd that kid come from? <laughs> it's like, yeah, he he's like, they're my interns. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's just like, what is happening? <laughs> I highly, like, they're five-minute episodes. Like, you can you can get through those really quickly, and it, I'm excited to finish the rest. Like, when I'm sitting on YouTube, I'm like, I should watch Sugar Pine 7. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they're really good. Um, he interacts a lot with the Rooster Teeth guys. Like, he's, like, if you ever watch Fun House, he, they are in a bunch of episodes. I think the Game Grumps are in a new one. Uh, yeah, he's, like, part of Rooster Teeth now. Everything he does is a bit. Like, even when they won the Streamies, I think they did a bit there. Um, uh, wow, what was the other thing they were just involved? Oh, on Rooster Teeth's website, you know, I'm a, I'm a paid member there. I'm a first member. And mm-hmm. one of the journals is, uh, like, thank you for accepting more white people into Rooster Teeth. <laughs> Jeez. They're very aware, which is, like, the other thing. Like, it's this insane world... So it's almost like Rick and Morty. This this insane world that acknowledges that it's insane. Yeah. So yeah, I just I've been enjoying that a lot. And it's like Stephen has a fairly annoying n- nerdy voice. But that's <laughs> kind of like the whole point. Yeah, I I and I don't want to say anymore cuz there's actually a lot of spoilers. <laughs> and there's a lot of callbacks. You have to watch that from the beginning. There oh, are okay. so many like little things that are callbacks. Just hmm. like that makes no sense unless you know that you know whenever people are upset with Parker, they put him in a sink and interrogate him using waterboarding, and like <laughs> and Kib for whatever reason when you snap your fingers he falls asleep and you have to snap your fingers again and he wakes up. So, like, you'll see things happen, like, loud noises, and he'll fall asleep, and then something else will wake him up. And it's just, like... <laughs> it's, man, explaining it, it sounds so stupid. <laughs> well, I'm glad There's you're... There's a lot of things that are like that, though. Yeah. But this is this is real special. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go watch that if you haven't seen it. I, I really enjoy it. And they're actually Definitely proper seasons. The reason I looked into it, though, is they just released a movie on Rooster Teeth first. And I don't know if it's, like, going to come to YouTube or anything. But it's called The Woods. And it's all of them in a horror movie. It's like a 20-minute long horror movie. And, uh, actually, I don't think it has anything to do with Sugar Pine 7. That was the other thing that got me really interested was when somebody was talking to, I think, Steven about it. He was like, does it, do it exist in the Sugar Pine 7 universe? And it's like, what? What does that mean? Like, he makes <laughs> vlogs. It's like, oh, he kind of makes vlogs. <laughs> He's almost making fun of vlogs. Huh. So, yeah, I enjoy it. I'm enjoying weird things lately, it seems. Like, supposedly Destiny 2 is no good. Oh, let's not even get on that. <laughs> no, we really shouldn't. That's in a stream. We already got into that on a stream. Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to get angry this morning. Um, <laughs> but just to talk a little bit more about Destiny 2, is I did do a bunch more Crucible, and uh, I got to play some more of that with Jeremy. Jeremy did not like Crucible. He's like, I don't think I'll ever enjoy this. I was like, well, Why you need... That? To f- he just didn't like the gunplay and everything. We also played Crucible at, like, level 3. Like, we played very early on. And I told him, like, you need uh, to find a gun that you connect with. Yeah. Like, for me, it is the Sunshot and Bad News. I know how those weapons work. Yeah. So, and you have to have the advantage of just, like, some exotics and stuff. So, once, yeah, now he, he is level 20. You can't go in there with some run-of-the-mill... But at the same rifle. time, you kind of can. That's like kind of the whole point of Crucible. Kind of yeah. the whole good thing about it. But you definitely do better with good weapons. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I need to get him to play that again. Because <clears throat> I, I really want to play more Crucible. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting on and doing something. Definitely. 
Uh, what, was, what was the other thing I was going to say? Um, oh, what Total Biscuit was also saying was, you know, being able to enjoy a game and then being like, okay, I'm done for like a month is not a bad thing. No. Like, n- the fact that there's not 500 hours worth of content in Destiny right now is not a bad thing. No, uh, no honestly, that's kind of the point I got to with uh, Warcraft. Yeah. Is that I just, and I'm not even anywhere near done with the story of this expansion. I honestly just kind of got burned out. Yeah. And that was one and thing. I've been, I've been playing WoW for a long time. Oh, yeah. And it happens. You get burned out on games. Sometimes it's good to be like, you know what? I'm going to go play something else. Yeah. And, like, I'm super excited about, uh, what was the first? It's called Trials of Osiris. Mm Mm-hmm. Super excited about it. I will probably stop playing for a little while before it comes out. Um, Yeah, I I probably will. I mean, I think I was telling you the other day, I really hope, I I like that the level cap right now is level 20. Yeah. Because they they can do one of two ways. If I don't know how many expansions they plan on releasing. Four. Four? I think. I think two are announced and here's the thing though. If we okay. keep playing this and we keep, you know, buying DLCs and stuff, they will just keep supporting this game the way they do World of Warcraft. Well, that's that's where I'm going with this. Because that's what Destiny One was supposed to be. We were never supposed to get Destiny Two. Right. So, so that's fine. What, what they should do is with every expansion, or maybe even every other expansion, probably every expansion, um, raise your level cap by five or ten levels. I would imagine so. I imagine so that's going to be a thing. So every expansion, you still get a little bit of a sense of progression out just sure. outside of... Oh, I got a new weapon. Yeah. Yeah, I would well, imagine that's the plan. However, then you run into the problem. And I don't see Destiny 2 lasting this long. Not saying that I don't want it to. I just don't think it will happen. But then you run into a situation where a game is around for, you know, 13 years. And your level cap is 110. Like oh, like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's, I... and that's fine that your game is that old and still doing that well because, despite what everybody thinks and wants to say, the game does really well. Oh, Clearly, you mean a lot wow? People still play it. Yeah, yeah. It's like wow, just hemorrhage one million players. Like yeah, but they have twenty million. <laughs> yeah, like it, I am, those are not real numbers. I'm just pulling that out of my ass. Yeah. The, the game does well. Like yeah, they lost a massive amount of players, but they have way more than what they lost. Yeah. And I think so it, I think Blizzard's talked about that. They're like, yeah, we're going to lose a shitload of people. It's fine. We're fine. It, it happens. People are going to yeah. play the game regardless. And then what you I got would people... like to see is them do like what Destiny did and come uh-huh. out with this version. Or just a complete rework of World of Warcraft. To an extent. I shouldn't say a complete re- rework. but Oh, you want them to release like WoW 2? In a perfect world, that's exactly what I want. I would probably get back into that. Because my problem with WoW is that, like, for somebody who's never played before, Mm -hmm. you've got 110 levels to go through. Mm -hmm. That's very daunting. I know. That's a big number. I know it is. That's an astronomical (laughs) number. Big part of the reason why I won't get into it. Right. It's why I don't want to level any more characters because that's outrageous. I don't want to go through 110 levels. You know what I mean? Yeah. What I would like to see them do is work some kind of developer magic (laughs) that I don't know and rework all the beginning zones so that you don't level ridiculously fast. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. Because... You've got the original world, which is level 1 to 60. And then you've got your expansions, which is 10 levels per expansion. Okay. What they could do 
you, like you level through zones like crazy in that game now. Like there's that's what's a good example. Like if you were to go, let's say you hit like a level ten through twenty zone. Okay. Right. If you do every quest in that zone, you will hit level twenty halfway through the zone. Yeah. Halfway through the story of that zone, and then you're like, oh well, what's the point? Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you're one. It's a huge grind, which. Yeah, grinding is part of, of of an MMO, but let's be realistic. And two, you're missing out on the story, which World of Warcraft has a pretty fantastic story. Which is a big reason why I want to play it. Like, the story is... It's good. Yeah. Very good. But I'm to the point now that if I want the story, I'll read the books. Yeah, fair enough. But I don't know. I would really like to see them rework something. That they're, I'm fairly positive that they're going to announce the next expansion at BlizzCon. Yeah. In what? Probably two weeks. Yeah, I'll be no, able... not even next week. This yeah. week. Yeah, it's this Saturday because I'm going to a land party where they're going to be okay. watching it. So I'm really hoping they pull through with some fucking amazing shit. <laughs> Because I'm, I mean, I'm curious. It's Blizzard. That's what they do. Yeah, I'm, like I don't even care about what they have to say about the other games. You don't care what they have to say it. about Destiny. I I'll be very surprised if they showcase Destiny at all. I saw the dumbest comment the other day. <laughs> oh god! Um, somebody asked, you know, is Destiny gonna be a BlizzCon? Somebody replied with, "Well, if they want to continue to be on BattleNet, they should. They will." And it's like. Uh, that's Wait, the same. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> what? If they want to continue to be on Battle.net, if they like, if they want to keep Activision happy, they'll put them at BlizzCon. And it's I like, mean, I'm sure, I'm sure they'll talk about it. Yeah, but Activision is mean, owned by Blizzard. Like, what, they're gonna make themselves happy? Like, what? Yeah, like it. it it's, that's dumb. Like, Activision didn't ask Blizzard to be on Battle.net. They just decided to. Yeah. Like, like, I'm not going to ask myself to make a sandwich in a little while. I'm just going to do it, because <laughs> it's my sandwich. Like, I, I, think they'll, I think they'll talk about it. I don't think they're just going to leave it out. But as far as it being, like, a feature, like a featured event. I just want a trailer for Trials of Osiris. That's all I want. And we might get that. You never know. But, I mean, if they're going to – if we're going to add Destiny – to BlizzCon. Well, next year, why not, just, cool. why not just throw fucking Call of Duty in there? Because, because it's their why? sandwich. It's made by the same fucking company. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's stupid. Keep your Call of Duty out of my fucking BlizzCon. Oh, yeah. Wait. Call of Duty is made by Activision? It, it used to be. Oh. I'm assuming I think you're it right. still is. I think you're right. I missed your point entirely. Yeah. <laughs> you did. Damn, yeah. Get that shit out of here. Exactly. Like, I, and I'm not comparing Destiny 2 to Call of Duty because... Ooh. Oh, yeah, you're right. That is made by... Fuck. Yeah. See my point here? Yeah. Don't, don't, don't ruin BlizzCon for me, all right? Get your platforming get... out of my Destiny and, and get yeah, your like, Destiny out of my BlizzCon. I get excited about every year. Like, that's that's my Christmas. All right, BlizzCon is my Christmas. Okay. <laughs> Don't fuck it up with Activision. Fair point. Okay. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, I guess I didn't consider that. I just assumed, like, oh, uh, Destiny's on Battle.net. That means it's part of Blizzard now. But it always has been. But also, other Activision shit's not on Battle.net. Right. So... Maybe it's just because it's an MMO. They were like, yeah, we need our MMOs on Battle.net. I just maybe... think it was a good I think it was a good business strategy. I got Yeah. I don't disagree with the decision and it certainly makes it more convenient for me. <laughs> but 
I know I people were like, it. why Battle.net? Now I not Steam. Like, shut up. You have Battle.net, too. <laughs> yeah, like, it, I don't I don't have an issue with it, but I don't want it to become a thing. <laughs> yeah, no, I get, I get what you're saying. Because if I see Call of Duty on Battle.net, I'm going to be pretty upset. Yeah, that wouldn't be great. No, that'd be pretty, pretty yucky. If this goes really well, though, and I think it has... I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think Destiny 2 is a good fit. I think so, too, because like I said, I think I think a big part of it was, like, maybe we can get a small chunk of the WoW players over to Destiny. Exactly, yeah. And they probably did, too. Oh, I would imagine so. When do you think we're going to get a uh, free trial for Destiny 2? I don't know. Cause quite frankly, I think... I believe every game should have a demo. I think that people should be able to play that beta, like what we got in the beta. They should be yeah, able to play that. Yeah, free trial. Yeah. Because I talked to my brother-in-law the other day. I was telling him about playing Destiny, and he's like, man, I've never played it. And I said, right. well, he's not the kind of guy that's just going to go buy a game. Right. For a multitude of reasons, but I thought I said, if they ever come out with like a free trial, you need to play it. Yeah. I mean, that's what happened with Destiny 1 with you. And I was like, download the free trial and play it. And you were like, well, this is good. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Because otherwise, I was like, no, this is fucking Halo. Oh, yeah. And see, that that was exactly what it was with Dawn. And Dawn does not like Halo. I don't either. Um, And he was not... He didn't want to buy Destiny. He wasn't planning on it. And I just... I convinced him. But uh, for him, it was... You know, we've played a lot of Borderlands. Mm -hmm. So I was like, it's like Borderlands, but more serious and much better. Because <laughs> I, I feel I like... Even, I don't uh, even remember what Borderlands was like. It, it's a lot like Destiny, but sillier. and like, But the guns were just... They weren't as interesting, I don't think. Right. Yeah. Some would argue they're more interesting because they were sillier, but these are just... This game's more interesting. But it was that, you know, it's a looter shooter... And Don likes loot right. and stuff like that. So that's how I sold it. And then once... I mean, I think it was after he bought it. He was like... Uh... Bungie makes this? <laughs> <laughs> I was like... Yeah. Uh... Don't they make Halo? <laughs> he was like, just... Don't... Don't pay attention to that. <laughs> yeah, don't... Don't bring up Halo. I like I liked Halo up until 3. Or no, after 3. I didn't. You know why I didn't like Halo? Why is that? Because I was absolutely horrible at it. Ah, uh, see, I like the campaign. Yeah, and I, I, well, I didn't. I also didn't own Halo because I didn't own an Xbox ever. Right. So I couldn't own Halo. So I would always play with friends who owned it and got to play it all the time. Gotcha. Okay. And were far better than I would ever be at it. Yeah, I've always said that. Halo is the uh, fighting game of shooters because, like, if you're good at it, you're no one else can really beat you. <clears throat> right. Call of Duty, I can at least run around like an idiot in a circle and eventually shoot you in the back. <laughs> That's Call mostly what was, the game is. Call of Duty was good up until, like, Modern Warfare. And even, for me, I'm even pushing it at that point. I think Modern because, Warfare 2 was the best one. I don't know. For me, Modern Warfare was top of the hill. That That's a podcast. That's a topic for Jeremy, though. Jeremy is the Call of Duty guy. Well, the Modern Warfare guy, at least. Yeah. Um, for, for me, Modern Warfare was the top of the hill, and then everything after that was just a slow decline. So uh, I think we should we should wrap this up and play some Destiny. I I would be okay with that because it's okay. already ten o'clock. Yeah, and uh, we're we're an hour and twenty minutes into this, so that's a pretty good. That's not bad. Pretty good listen. Thank you for listening, guys. This has been the Future Villains podcast. Uh, we're gonna play some Destiny. There's gonna be lots of videos going up on my channel. There's a lot of vods on yours, right? Of you streaming it. I haven't uploaded anything to YouTube in quite a while. <laughs> yeah, man, that's a whole topic we didn't really talk about. Was youtube <laughs> yeah i know that's that could be a whole podcast in itself 
Yeah. My stuff's now, still going just... up on YouTube, but it's also going on Twitch and VidMe. Yeah, most of my stuff is just on Twitch. <laughs> oh, I can upload to Twitch now, can I? I should probably I put know. the podcast on Twitch. That's a lot of uploading. <laughs> I've pretty much just been just been steady streaming instead of there is a anything. there is a future villains Twitch that hasn't been used. Maybe Ever. I can put the vods on there. That would probably be a good idea. I should do at that at least for the podcast. Yeah, um, yeah. Thank you for listening, guys. This has been the Future Villains Podcast. Uh, you can find it on iTunes, you can find it on YouTube, you can find it on our website, futruevillains.com, that's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. You can find me on Twitter at Best of the Realm, on Facebook, Best of the Realm Gaming, YouTube, Best of the Realm, twitch.tv slash Best of the Realm. Where can they find you, Bob? First of all, your spelling hurts my brain. <laughs> okay. I kind of just had, like, a mini stroke. Right. Um... <laughs> You can find me on YouTube at Bearded Gaming Entertainment as well as on Facebook under the same name. You can find me on VidMe at Bearded Gaming. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Doug Theme Song, and you can also find me on Twitch, which is probably where you're going to find me most of the time at uh, Bearded Gaming ENT. All right. I believe that's it. Thank you for joining us, guys. Go watch your Dis- Destiny videos, Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening. <laughs>